Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Yes, I received a parcel today. It's not a watch, it's not a strap, it's not a bracelet, but it's a clasp. Yep. So if you've been following the channel, you you might know that I've ordered a clasp for uh, one of my San Martin. And I think I did complain about it, you know, like the way um, San Martin is handling this whole thing. Um, yeah, let's open up and uh, see what we have and I'm just gonna show you the watch and if you haven't watched the other video I'm just gonna briefly tell you like, you know, what I think uh, San Martin can do better Okay, so we have a what do you call the spring bars? I believe there is some colors. Yeah, and we have a clasp. Okay All right so this is a class, I'm not sure if you can see it here, it's a class with um, one, two, three, four, four micro micro adjustment position. Um, I purchased this uh, class to replace the one on this, um, yeah, I couldn't recall the model number, but it's, I think it's a great watch. I like the watch, I like the design of the watch, I like the military inspired dial design, and I also happen to like the so-called uh, texture on the dial of the watch which I think is a great watch it comes with a I would say a good kind of bracelet but uh, the letdown is that this clasp only comes with two micro adjustment position or if you want to say it's gonna be technically one if you're already using the other yep so not a great clasp especially for a link that is this long they did not provide any half links so yeah that's a bit of a letdown and somehow i'm not sure if it's due to customer complaints um they decided to offer this kind of clasp separately all right so yeah the thing is here uh i'm not sure if this is an improvement due to san martin taking feedback from customer or it's just a marketing trick you know they sell you a watch that comes with uh, I don't know not so good clasp and they're gonna sell you the clasp separately all right so I've been I've been getting a few more watches from San Martin recently and yeah they all come with you know this kind of two position micro adjustment class which I feel hmm, doesn't make sense well makes sense if it's you know the link is short or they provided half link and whatnot but yeah or rather than you know having to sell this separately maybe they can put it as an option right in in the in the listing so let's say if you want to purchase this watch for example right um instead of just having um a, a variation for a say uh, with or without logo or you know different kind of movements they can throw in a mix of you know different kind of uh, class and i think people will not complain if you are throwing in a class with more micro adjustment position and then if you look at it side by side um, the internal part where where the caesar mechanism is it's the same length right so um in terms of wearability i don't think it really affects the uh, the user so much um yeah you can say that the class is, is a little longer but at least you have a decent amount of micro adjustment position so what i'll do is that i will replace this clasp on this uh, bracelet and come back and see how it looks Right, so uh, I think took a while because I had to uh, remove a link because the clasp is slightly longer, but um, I think it works out fine. So let's uh, peel off some sticker here. I think that's the only sticker. Well, uh, if you notice from the so-called uh, speed up video, um, I did not change this portion of the clasp because, yeah, to me it's the same. 
uh, but I think they provided like a pin and collar. Um, here is actually a pin and collar system where you can use like a, a non uh, screw type link removal tool to press out the pin and collar and replace the portion here. But uh, yeah, because it's the same class, um, I just uh, switch out the class um, excluding the so called scissor part, and I think it works out okay. Um, yeah, tolerance it's um less than desired because it's not as smooth as the original one and it feels like kind of gritty and i'm basically rubbing and scratching this link inside here yeah it's not that great um and i think the finishing is mm, all right so yeah not super great but at least um it's much more wearable uh, fits my wrist uh, better because um, on the previous clasp it's either too tight or too loose so here I think yeah I managed to get quite a snug fit you know um, and uh, I'm on the last micro adjustment position and let's say if it's if it's hotter or what I can move it a notch out but uh, it's not easy because um, it's not as smooth as I wanted it to be. It's kind of rough. It's kind of nitty and gritty. You know, when I press the spring bar, I need to like really struggle to move it to the next hole because of that tight uh, tolerance or like over pressing kind of tolerance. Yeah, not really fantastic, but workable. All right, I guess um, that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please help by subscribing to my channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram at GW underscore watch for more watch pictures. Uh, till then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.